I was um, asked a question about uh, whether vertex tools could be used to make um, make uh, this vertex here planar or on the same plane um, as this neighboring face here. Um, basically, move it out so this line um, dividing them can be erased actually. So and we can do it if we can select this vertex and then if we align the gizmo to a custom axis. And as you can see in the status bar, if you hold shift, you can pick an orientation based on any surface in the model. So we're going to pick the target face and we can now see that um, the gizmo's uh, Z axis, the blue axis, is aligned to the uh, target face. And what is important here is that in version 1.1, .1, the gizmo will try to realign itself to the center of the selection. So uh, it doesn't do that automat automatically after you um, pick uh, a custom location. But as soon as you do anything to the view viewport, it will uh, realign itself to the center of the selection. So if I just scroll in and out of the viewport, you can see it jump back onto the selected vertex, which is not what we want here. So I'm going to redo this again, align to custom, and pick target face, and without moving anything at all, I'm going to take the um, the Z scaling uh, handle, and as I move this, you can see this vertex here is moving, and it's going to be moved as we get closer to um, scale factor of zero. It's going to be closer and closer to the uh, target face. So, unfortunately, there's no snapping at um, at the origin of the gizmo in version. Uh, 1.1, so I have to be really careful to sort of exactly pick the center. I'm going to use the tooltip here to guide me, and then we're not. And now it should be um, on the same plane. Yep. The edge can now be erased. Now, if you experience, if you try this and experience that, when you erase the edge, it erases the um, adjacent faces. It's probably because of some slight inaccuracy on trying to hit the origin. So just try again and and keep the cursor as you're scaling. Keep the cursor. Well, it's easier to, um, if, if you keep the cursor far away from the actual axis origin, you can get some inaccuracy uh, problems. But if you keep the cursor closer to here, you're more likely to get a success. In um, the next version of Vertex Tools, uh, there will be snapping uh, for this particular feature. Um, uh, there might be some other tools that make this even easier. Oh, so that's it. It's a small little um, uh, trick to use in vertex tools.